Come on in, guys. Get out of the bitter cold of the Florida winter. To each and every one of us that play an integral part in making this company a force to be reckoned with in the beverage industry, you all are the best. We continue to set benchmarks and we exceed our customers' expectations every day. This much for you. Thank you. Is, is a necessity for key accounts. <laughs> Have you seen Teddy play golf? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Maybe you should make bowling popular. That's good. I like that. And Teddy, we don't want to see your golf lessons on your trade expenses. <laughs> Lawrence Self is a head buyer for, uh, for Sweet Bay. He played one round with Teddy. He announced his retirement. <laughs> You guys know where we are today with modern technology. Um, we're using Blackberries, we're using cell phones, we've got laptops, we're sending our orders um, without cell phones attached to our computers. So back when uh, this crew over here and myself started, we had straight bay trucks, there were no semis. Um, you were the salesman, you were the service rep, you were the merchandiser, all in one. You had a calculator in your pocket and you wrote each item down, you calculated the price yourself. When you got back in at night, you had a load sheet, you had to do all that by hand. It had to match your tickets, it had to match your money. There were nights where you spent two hours looking for 50 cents because you couldn't balance. So we, we've really come a long way. I see this company going much, much further. Thank you, Tom, for 25 years, and I look forward to 25 more. Find out what Jamie's betting, and then go the other way. He's the ice man, he's the igloo, he's the frozen tundra because he's ice cold on his bets. So if you want to know a football score or anything, find out who he's picking and take the other team. All kidding aside, this is the guy you want next to you in the trenches. He takes on every challenge and task and he sees it through. He's passionate about his job and his responsibility as a father. He's a true family man and a great beer man. Jamie, thanks for 25 exciting and eventful years. 1981, we had five draft brands. Today, 156. We did a total of over 9.5 million cases, equivalency as I think Tommy had mentioned. We also won our first DOE Silver Award, which in future years we would go on to win many gold and ambassadors, along with many other recognition awards from the industry and other business partners. So I'd like to call up, first of all, Mr. Scott Moody. You talk about being here a long time, and you're talking about the communications and everything that we have now, the Blackberry, the cell phone. When I started, we had sticks in the cab, and we had to send up smoke signals if we wanted to call the warehouse. That's how long ago it was. It's craziness. Uh, all kidding aside, though, it's been a great place to work. I mean, everybody I know, I don't even know anybody outside the company anymore. Everybody I know works here. And if they didn't, they used to work here. I, I have no other friends except here. So if I got fired, I'd have to find a whole new group of friends. But, uh, oh, no, it's been, a, it's been a great place to work. I've loved it, and I'll continue to love it. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
I want to tell you, when Tom talked about being passionate about being a part of this company and being committed to part of this company, I will tell you that it's very, very true because he indeed and Randy Garcia and Jay Paul and the Pepin family will give back to you in a very, very passionate way. So stick with it, be a part of this company, be passionate and be committed and you will be rewarded in a very, very big way. So thank you very much for all the great years, Tom. Thank you. I just want to thank Tom, his father, Art, who was here when I started for 30 great years. This company is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. This is the 2011 Dolphy Award presented to Pepin Distributing Company, top performing Budweiser distributor in Region 3. You guys really did a great job. We can't thank you enough. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're looking forward to a great 2012. Thank you. Dolphus Bush had a dream and a vision to elevate Budweiser from a local St. Louis microbrew into the top beer brand in the United States. Today, Budweiser is an iconic global brand, and we honor his vision with the Dolphy Award. Dolphy's, uh, Dolphus quote, my principle is that a man must love his business in order to make a great success of it. That means a lot. Thank you. Thank you, guys. The Budweiser account manager that um, is going to win this award is a 10-year recipient this year, Mr. Eric Jones. For the off-premise market manager, Mr. Vince Amorelli. The Hall of Fame Award, the recipients of this recognition exemplify the tradition and the mission statement of Pepin Distributing Company. They have set the standard for Pepin pride and passion. The award is a replica of the Art and Polly Bronze Clydesdale bust that welcomes visitors to this hospitality center. The plaque that is on the outside carries the names of the past recipients of this award and this year's recipients. I'd like to welcome to the stage our 2012 recipients, Bill and Renee Wynn, Dale and Ann Edwards, and Wayne and Patsy Metzier. The word legend does not need definition. Itself is a definition. And this particular person, in his own special way, is a star. He's a myth. He's a legend in his own mind. No. This, this year's recipient, he did, just defies definition, except that he is a legend. He's a legend at Pepin, and he's a legend in the area that he called his own. He always, he's always been referred to as the mayor of Dade City. So, I guess by your response, then you agree. When it comes to the word legend, Dave Handing is a legend. Please come forward. This is not going to last long because uh, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Pepin Distributing, Budweiser increase second or first in the Southeast. But wait, I was told second in the United States. And now the only reason we finished second, and it's true, I had throat surgery <laughs> for six weeks last year. I could not drink. <laughs> if I could, we would have been number one. <laughs> <laughs> to me, this is the best beer. Do I switch brands or drinks? Hell yeah. 16 ounce bottle, a little while ago it was a 12 ounce bottle. Paper cup, J. Paul, many a quart of Budweiser. Six weeks without drinking last year was the longest I went without beer since fifth grade. Pepin Distributing is Tampa, Florida. Um, University of Tampa won in the field uh, called Pepin Rude Field. Rude was a famous attorney. And I says, well, how did Pepin get their first name? Did you ever hear of a Rude Pepin? <laughs> right up here. Pepin Academy goes all the way through high school. 
It's for our special needs kids. It goes all the way through high school. There's kids that went through college now and they graduated, and they will tell you that if it wasn't for Pepin Academy, they wouldn't be where they were at. So Pepin Academy. <laughs> and then the Pepin Heart Hospital. Art got a heart transplant years ago for years in Houston, Texas, and he wanted to do something locally for Tampa, Florida. So for years, the fourth floor at the University Hospital was the Pepin Heart. Tom is carrying on the legacy. Pepin Heart Hospital, it's a whole heart house, one of the top in the country. And just recently, he donated another million dollars to Pepin Heart Hospital. But the thing that pissed me off, he gave my 85 bus away too. <laughs> like they really needed it. But in ending, because I gotta go to the bathroom. But I would, there's a lady, very close, a lover, can't be here. Oh, matriarch, Mrs. Polly Pepin. She's alive, health reasons, but she would love to be here. So here's a toast, the matriarch, Mrs. Polly Pepin. Thank you.